All right, so here is the bald eagle. Yes, one of the parents is on the bare branch today. It wasn't there yesterday, so I filmed the baby in the nest instead. And this thing doesn't want to come into focus for whatever reason. Oh, here we go. And here we go, yeah. Very cool, that bald eagle right there. So, yeah, look at that, baby. All right. And just gotta tilt this a little bit. Just gotta tilt it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, so today I worked until 6 p.m. again. I'm going to be working until 6 p.m. every day until July 3rd. So at Amazon, we have what's called mandatory overtime. That means if they ask you to stay later past your shifts, then you have to stay. So everybody had to stay until 6. Now normally I leave at 5.30. So that doesn't really give me much time for any eagle or hawk watching and I actually worked five days this week yeah I mean normally I work four because we work very long shifts we work 10 hour shifts although with the overtime it ended up being 10 and a half every day So we'll just watch this bald eagle. Now I can only film one thing at a time. It was either to film this bald eagle parent or to film the nest. I'm sure nothing's really going on in the nest anyways. So let's see if we got a good a good video of this, yeah. Yeah, this bald eagle is doing great. Yeah, right at the near the top of the bear branch. It's actually on the second bear branch. So if I zoom it out, you'll be able to see it. See? There's actually two branches right there. And just to show you where I am, okay, I am far away from this location. That's probably a good 1,000 feet or so. Yeah, pretty far away. So now we're going to zoom back on it. Oh man, right? This is such a cool camera. That's all the way. Oh wait, is that all the way? That's all the way, Max. Train rolling by. Trains are rolling. Huh. I'm surprised that bald eagle just uh, stopped what it was doing <laughs> just to observe that train. So this must be the first time that this bald eagle's been in this area. I mean the first year that's been in this area. This is actually the female's new mate. Yeah, the reason why um, this is its new mate because it doesn't have bands on, on him. Yes, yeah, so this one doesn't have any bands on his talons at all. I mean, you won't be able to see his talons from here because he's facing the other way. But when I checked, he didn't have any bands. And there are, t they do put two bands on the bald eagles. They put a green one and a silver one. The green one just means the bald eagles from New Jersey. Silver one just is a federal band. But if it has neither of those two bands, then who knows where the eagle came from. The eagle could have migrated and found this mate in some other state. So who knows? 
let's go ahead and zoom back in here so we can observe this bald eagle more brilliantly here. So I'm trying to tilt this up just a little bit, so apologize for the shakiness. So I'll let this roll for another 9 minutes and 40 seconds. And then I'll go home after that. So he might not stay on this branch for long, who knows. Yeah, I could be wrong. You know, maybe he might end up staying here for the rest of the night. I do find it strange that this bald eagle doesn't come here every day at the same time. But I do know that he does roost here very often. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I want I want to go see the bald eagle nest but I'm not gonna take this camera away so I'm just gonna like look at it with my own eyes uh, it's too bad I don't have any binoculars here but you know what I could do I could Nah, I'm not gonna do that just yet yeah, and this bald eagle can't even see me anyways so I'll wait for that uh, let's see. I was just going to throw some popcorn for this bald eagle. I know, I'm crazy, aren't I? Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this other camera on. And what I'm going to do is, oh yeah, that's right, I need a memory card inside it. But that is okay because I, I'll, I should be able to see the screen without a memory card on this camera. Don't mind what I'm saying right now, it's kind of irrelevant. What was that? Oh, he's flashing his wings. Oh, he had a scratch. Scratching it up. And he's like, got something, just a piece of his feathers. Let me adjust this up just a little bit further. Oh, now he's really looking at me. Here. Here's some popcorn. Any more? Does this help? Can you see the popcorn? Now, maybe if I give a real big popcorn. Yep, yeah, more popcorn. Maybe this will work. Now. All right, well, I tried. All right, so I'm now waiting for, um, for my other camera to get ready.
gorgeous in the mall. It's crazy. Hmm. Well, guess I can't use this today. Well, that's alright, no big deal. Alright, so instead I'm going to just, I'm just going to go and film the other bald eagle, the bald eagle nest. So first, first things first, um, yeah, I'm just going to walk over the nest right now. You know, I'm, I could throw some more pieces of popcorn. See that? See that one? See that piece of popcorn? Yeah, you can hear it. No, that didn't work. Alright, then I'll put a few pieces behind me then. I know, you don't care. You don't care about the popcorn. That's all right. You're a bird of prey, not a garbage disposal, I know. All right. I'm gonna go see the bald eagle's death man. Very good. Let me zoom in one last time. 
yeah, so I decided to do another recording, okay? It didn't seem like the bald eagle was there. Um, so he must have been sleeping. Wow, this eagle is really preening up. Scratching his head, so cute. Oh yeah. It's, I just find it so weird that I came here at the same time yesterday and this bald eagle wasn't there. But today it is. So you think this bald eagle will be here tomorrow? Well, only time will tell. So after this eagle is done preening up, I think I'll go. He's kind of getting behind his feathers a little bit. Can't really see much of this eagle right now. The maximum zoom, by the way. I did actually find another spot where I could see this bald eagle where I was slightly closer, but I don't really think it would make much of a difference. I mean, the difference would be very slight.
the train. He's looking, right? Yeah, he was looking at me. Yeah, let's go and take a closer look, or a um, farther look at this. That way you can really see this bald eagle right here. There we go, yeah. You can see, you can see he's getting under his wings. That's pretty cool. Now he doesn't appear to be doing anything. Another train. <laughs> I knew it. Bald Eagle doesn't even turn his head. Not even once. Shaking his wings out. What does that mean? Does that mean he's going to fly off? Wait a minute. That is the female eagle. Yes, that is the female. She's got the green band on her leg. So, that is actually the mother. Green and silver, see that? Green means it's a state band and the silver means it's a federal band. And by the way, that is the closest that I can get. Like, that's as far as I can zoom. I can't zoom in any further than that. Yeah, I should have known. Yeah, sometimes it's the father, sometimes it's the mother. They, uh, they take turns protecting the nest. Yes, they don't, they don't like, like one, like only one hunts and then one stays. No, that's not how it works. In the raptor world, well, or any, or any bird really, they, they switch shifts. Yeah. So that when the mother stays, the father goes, and when the father comes back, then the mother goes hunting. And she's kind of looking at me a little bit. Well, she was anyways. Sorry about the shakiness. So there you go, yeah. That's a good image of this bald eagle right here. Well, at least I finally know that, well, let's say finally, but at least I know that the mother happens to be here today, which doesn't happen very often. 
The only time I've ever seen the mother here is when the father, the father is there as well. Well, I'm going to be leaving after this recording stops. So this will be the last recording of the day. So how this camera works is it records for 15 minutes and then it just takes a few seconds for the file to process and then if I want to record again I just simply just hit the record button. Now I actually walked away for like a few minutes but it ended up being more than a few minutes and the camera stopped and it was probably maybe like two minutes since the camera stopped because I know I was there for like two minutes or so and there was like seven minutes left of the recording. It took me like a few minutes for me just to walk there and I kind of hustled when I came back. But yeah, I'm gonna cut this short because I gotta go to work at seven in the morning tomorrow, yeah. And whenever I, I get home, I always watch YouTube videos of hawks and sometimes eagles as well. It just depends on how clever those videos are. Like I try to avoid nest cam videos. I try to watch videos where people have filmed them with a labor of love. Yes, they've, they, I, I, I don't like to record, or I don't like to watch videos that are just uploads from different people, because you can just watch them on their website, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people just cut sections of the video and then they post them on YouTube. But I'd rather just watch original footage than just some some video from a com another company or something like that. So yeah, so this is real. This is this is this, I'm I'm using a camera to film this bald eagle right here. I'm here. I'm taking time out of my busy schedule, out of my busy 10 hour a day work schedule which today was actually, I worked ten and a half hours. Um, and to be able to, to spend a half an hour filming this bald eagle is far from amazing. I'm just grateful for being able to be here right in this bald eagle's presence. Even though I am quite far, I'm like a thousand feet away from it. But still, I'm very happy of the footage that I have today and thanks for watching if you watch the whole thing that's great I mean it doesn't really matter to me I I just like to have a record of me being here and filming these bald eagles so that's why I film them for as long as I do so with only 47 seconds left I just want to I just want to say just thank you for watching these bald eagle videos. I do appreciate it. Alright, so the remaining 30 seconds, let me just take another good close up of this bald eagle's talons, yeah. So that's about as good as I can get. You can't really see the bands very well because they're kind of hidden by the feathers. And, you know, it could be possible that maybe, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to stop the recording. Until next time, I'll see ya.